Hill dishes to Young. Portland grabs the miss. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. And Wright kicks to a follow. And Young comes over to help. Now here's McCollum. He has seven. Again, the Trailblazers good for two. And he'll try to develop his outside shot to better fit into the Lakers' offense last year, but that's not his strength. I mean, where he's best is his ability to use his size and athleticism on the boards and really defensively as well. Shot is off. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jordan Hill. That's his first foul. McCollum up top. He's covered by Rondo. Came in, passes to McCollum. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. It's on Rajon Rondo. And Hill is one of the best rebounders in the league. He's a quality defender as well, and he can play some center. So if he can stay healthy, I think he's a guy that can really be a player to watch. C.J. McCollum taken 10th last season out of Lehigh, and much like Damian Lillard Clark, a four-year guard from a mid-major school. Yeah, and I like him a lot. Watched him his junior year up close, and, you know, both of those guys were big-time scorers at the collegiate level. Um, similar in size and also um, attitude, very confident but understated, and they both have terrific three-point laser shot. And I know with one of your boys playing mid-major college basketball, you've got a great appreciation for what the talent level is at that point. Exactly, and how guys can develop over the course of a four-year career. Portland leading by nine. Definitely a two-for-one situation here, guys. Yeah, the wise move would be to find themselves a quick shot right away. Banked in off the glass. McCollum's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Love the interior passing. He knew exactly where to go with that ball. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Rondo with the ball. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Kobe with it. And came and picks him up defensively. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. And the first half is now in the books. Trailblazers out in front, up by 11. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Now it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Lillard has been playing really well. He's got 16 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. Here's Lillard. Filling out the wings, it's Matthews and Batum. Aldridge and Lopez are down low. And it's Lillard in at the point. So that's who Terry Scott starts the second half. And the jam by Nicholas Batum. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular, never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Clarkson kicks to Bryant. Five on the clock. Kobe can't get that one to fall. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Lillard. Outside, Batum. Over in the corner, Matthews. On the wing. Blocked. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. 
Well, Kevin, Terry Stotts led the Blazers to the second round last season, and he's now in his third year with the team. He spent a couple of seasons as head coach in Atlanta and Milwaukee, but this is his longest stint and the best talent he's ever had. As Stotts said, you never know if you're going to get another chance. Guys, he's certainly making the most of it. Doing a great job. Thanks, Doris. Trailblazers leading by 13. Outside Batum. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Batum. Off the screen. And Stoudemire pulls it down. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Clarkson passes to Davis. Lopez with the steal. And the foul on Amari Stoudemire. That is his first foul of the game. Lillard outside. Kicks to Batum. Outside Matthews. In to LaMarcus Aldridge. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, as great as Aldridge was in the first half of last year, it felt like he was going to really kick it into overdrive in the second half of the season because of his all-star snub. And Aldridge in saying he should have been a starter in last year's all-star game. Probably comparing the Blazers' record at the time to that of Kevin Love's of Minnesota. Yeah, but it's not just team success. I mean, one thing for Aldridge, he takes some tough shots. A 23-point-per-game score, but his shooting efficiency was actually below average last season. And Batum throws it down. And once he took off, it looked like the defense just had no interest in getting in his way. That's one where you just give up the two points and move on. Now here's Bryant. Five points in the game. Been a cold spell for them coming out of the half, missing their first three shots. A tough start. Here is Lillard. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Shaking. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. They get a bet. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Of all the players in the NBA, maybe the only person other than LeBron who is a threat to get a triple-double on a nightly basis is Nick Batum. He just racks up stats in so many categories with such ease. The free throw drops for Batum. And, you know, Batum becoming a much more active passer over the last couple of seasons. He's still working on his decision-making. His turnovers actually climbed as well, but... The Blazers can use another playmaker on the wing, and Batum can fill that void. It's tipped and stolen by Aldridge. And Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist by Aldridge. 18 points for Lillard. Lakers trail by 17. And Batum last season had some stretches with huge rebounding numbers. Two separate three-game spans, in fact, Steve, with almost 50 boards. Well, you look at his work on the glass. I mean, he took it to a new level. Over seven boards a game for the season. That is excellent from your small forward position. Scooped up. Here's Davis. And he jams that one in. Up strong off the offensive rebound. What a play. They can cut this lead down if they start converting more of their second points. I'm with you there. Yeah, but you wonder, where were those earlier? They're just hustling more now. Guys, that's his fourth giveaway. He really needs to be more efficient with the ball in his hands. Lakers trail by 15. Here's Clarkson. Five points in the game. Good. 
Selman's got five. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically no coverage. I mean defense did not look very good there. Now here's Matthews. He has seven. And it's Lopez penetrating. There's the three. A shot by Batum. No good. Los Angeles has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Clarkson kicks to Selmans. Now Matthews. Lillard dishes to Batum. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard got his fourth assist in this one. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Trailblazers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And also the steals. I mean, they've really been harassing the ball today, forcing mistakes, and really turning that into their advantage. Now, here's Lillard. 18 points for him. And here's Matthews from the arc. Some solid defense from Kobe. Davis sets a screen. The Lakers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. The first one falls. It seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and uh, it's just been that kind of a day. Both teams will make substitutions. And so he makes both from the line. Now here's McCollum. He's got 13. A follow outside. Came in a sprint. Goes up on the wing. That's good on the jump shot. A follow's got five. Clark, how about the firepower for the Blazers? Last season, they vaulted to the number one offense in the NBA. Up from 15th the prior season, Kevin, and they were number one in three-pointers made and free throw percentage. Near the top in assist as well. They moved the ball and they shot it with great precision. And the Lakers call time here. And the engine of the Blazers offense, the deadly pick and roll combo, Damian Lillard and Marcus Aldridge, they're that next great point guard power forward tandem in the vein of maybe Stockton Malone or Nash and Amari Stoudemire. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hill, he's checked in for Davis. Boozer comes in for Amari Stoudemire. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Kobe. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Clarkson. That's good. Boozer's got his first points in this one. And the Blazers, with their great outside shooting and passing, really able to space the floor, which allows LaMarcus Aldridge to do excellent work inside. And he's really blossomed into the one of the true go-to guys in terms of big men in the paint. That turnaround jumper of his is honey sweet, cotton soft, and impossible to block. Here's Young. The Blazers getting the bucket. The dish to Hill. Outside Rondo. Six to shoot. 17-foot shot on the way. That one's in there. The Trailblazer lead is get back down to 13 points, and that one coming from Boozer. Colin Bassett to a flower. The feed to Cayman. Right outside. A follow with a screen on Young. And Reich kicks to McCullough. He dishes it to a follow. No good off the front iron. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot, though. Young outside. Hill is green on a follow. Pass to Ellington. He kicks it to Boozer. Stolen by McCollum. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Talk about a terrific game for McCollum. He has 15 points, and from long range, 
He's hit one three-pointer. Yeah, and you'd expect by the end of this game, I I'm sure the numbers are going to look even better. And he can't get the first one. I think C.J. McCollum...